Hey guys, every year I come up with a game plan of how I plan to progress my career. I think it's one of the most important things that I've done because I try and set an idea of what it is I want to accomplish, how I want to get there, and what's important to me because it's oftentimes these many milestones that you are accomplishing in order to get to your next major milestone. And so we're going to talk about some of the projects and items that I have planned in the next year. We're also going to talk about what I did the this last year, what my goals were, did I accomplish them, and what were my actual accomplishments for the last year. Really sort of figuring out how we're going to succeed in 2020 and if we were able to accomplish what we wanted for 2019. <laughs> I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I had the pleasure of actually seeing some of their housing and the campuses, and and it was just beautiful and a good time. I was really excited to go to Pro Provo, and they uh, were very nice and cordial. And so I've actually met some of the people who work there, and they're, they're really good people, and they're trying really hard to bring the best program that they have. So if you're interested in UI, UX, full-stack web, iOS development, QA, might I recommend checking out more info at devmountain.com where you get housing with your tuition as well. So 2019 was a very um, large year for me. It was a year that I, a lot of stuff happened. But, uh, and we'll, we'll dive into that in just a second. But let's talk about what last year's goals were. I had six when I rewatched the video. The first one was the QA boot camp. That didn't work out because Dev Mountain um, st stopped their online program. So uh, we'll call that a wash. <laughs> um, the Agile Scrum certification, I didn't get around to it. I should, and uh, and we'll talk about how that's a goal and, and <laughs> well, sort of a goal for 2020, especially because my work will pay me to go and get that certification. So I'll get a bonus and they'll pay for it. So it's sort of like a, it's a good, it's a, you know, it's okay that we didn't meet it. Uh, but uh, two was attend two conferences. I did. I, ex I attended DevFest Florida twice, uh, once in January and once in November, and I'll uh, probably go again. So it's a, that was a really cool thing. Um, speak at a meetup. I, uh, I sort of circumvented that, and I went straight to the conference. Uh, so we'll say that was succeeded. One of the things I, I – there's two major goals on here that I didn't accomplish that I wanted to. Uh, and that, or rather that I wanted to do, but I was fairly certain I may not have enough time. Cause I, I, I do usually plan more goals than I have time for. And I, because I'm okay failing at some and not others. Like the goal is to make sure that we're moving forward. And a lot of these things are multi-month things or, you know, life happens. And we'll talk a little bit about how my life sort of changed in 2019 and the, the, the sort of road bumps that came along, but, uh, the book. Um, I didn't think I would accomplish it, and I, I didn't put the effort into it. Uh, launching a web app. Another one I didn't think I accomplished, but I think I, I'm going to say that I sort of did, although it's not in the final state that I want it to be, but we worked very hard to complete that. So that was what I was trying to accomplish for 2019, as well as continuing the things I had already been doing, the um, the courses, the um, the uh, YouTube channel, which are you know time constraints as well. So what did we accomplish at the end of the day in 2019? Quite a bit. And we're going to talk a little bit about things that, because they sort of intertwine uh, life, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, professional goals. So in 2019, I got my title change to senior developer finally. You know, I'd essentially been doing the job of senior developer for quite some time, but I got my title change to that, and I went back to uh, full stack, which is nice, although I've really been working in the front end, but that was a goal of mine. I wanted to go and do full stack to pick up more skills, to be a little bit more marketable, and to really work at different technologies at the end of the day. Another uh, accomplishment was I wanted to increase my pay, my PTO, and generally my benefits, and that was one thing I <coughs> I wasn't going to be able to do at a couple of their employers that I had. And I've made significant increases in benefits, uh, such as my 401k, investment account, PTO, full remote, bonuses, all these things that I wanted that I knew was out there. But um, I, I might have to go find somebody who realized I, I was worth those things. And uh, that was something that I, I, I made an active, active effort to do um, about seven eight months back um 
release a course. So I released the 100, 100 front-end interview questions challenge, which has been pretty pretty well received and seems to be helping quite a few people. It seems like every live stream I have somebody come in and say about how this helped them prepare for their interviews and they, they did this one in the algorithms course and they got a job and they're very happy and I'm, I'm happy to hear that. But that was something that I, I'm very pleased uh, has happened. I spoke at a conference, DevFest Florida 2019, just two weeks ago. Uh, you know, I, I had said in 20, you know, for the 2019 goals, I wanted to speak at a meetup and I circumvented this. I wanted to speak at a meetup to speak at a conference. So I just sort of kicked that, uh, <laughs> kicked that, just, I jumped ship. I jumped over a level in my eyes and we did that. And that was really fun and something that we're going to be talking about as a 2020 goal of mine. Um, and I think this is a accomplishment as well. I survived a layoff. Uh, you know, things don't always go perfectly well, right? Things happen. Life happens. I took a job and after two and a half months, they laid me off and I moved across country to Idaho. And then I quit that job in three days because it wasn't for me. And I came back and that was a, that was a costly, um, time commitment. It was an emotional thing. I did a video talking about how I wasn't prepared emotionally for what it means to be laid off and not have a job and how that sort of, it was a very strange thing for me. And this next one is somewhat related to that, that even, even though we got laid off and that was a huge financial hit, especially with the move and everything, I paid 20% of my house down. That was a major goal of mine. I bought my home, which is a goal also, was something that I accomplished right before the, um, I think it was uh, October. So in the last year, I've been able to go from the initial 3% I wanted to pay off to, as of uh, Tuesday of next week, uh, when this video is be coming out, I'll, I'll be doing the last little big lump sum payment of about eight thousand dollars to eliminate the private mortgage insurance and get to that twenty percent, which was a goal of mine. I was throwing a ton of money at it and still saving, because I, you know, you always want to save, you always want to make sure that your bad things happen. But that was something that was a very big financial goal of mine to not be paying that. Um, another accomplishment is that when I did take that job, I, I dove into Vue, Vue X, and got comfortable with progressive web apps. And so I picked those skills up and added those to my resume. And it was a lot of fun uh, working in different technologies. <coughs> I accomplished the Free Code Camp APIs and Microservices certification to add that to my resume and my LinkedIn to show that I'm growing and I can work with Node and Express and MongoDB and Mongoose and things like that. I also continued the YouTube channel. You know, just because this is a pre-existing project doesn't mean it's something that's that's doesn't provide value and doesn't take time, doesn't take effort, doesn't take energy. It takes a ton of time and effort and energy. You know, we did the the mentoring sessions every every week. That's been a goal of mine for several years. Is every week do a one hour live stream answering questions, providing some assistance and trying to provide direction at the end of the day. We released the self not or self-taught or not podcast which was sort of a goal in the back of my mind that I've always wanted to do was have a podcast but it had been a very hard challenge to find somebody I can work with right I like to part, part of the reason I'm not in college any, <laughs> anymore and part of the is I like to do things my own way in the sense of what works best for me and that usually means that not necessarily going to work best for you or it can be and so i was very glad that eric and i were able to do this podcast together and it's really been going relatively smooth uh and released a 24 episode self taught or not com if you haven't checked it out and from what i can tell you guys are really liking it and we're we're going to take a little bit of time off and uh in 2020 we're going to do uh we're going to do season two so that'll be another cool thing um i also uh, did a lot of work for video dev docs for that launch a web app goal, put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. And we're at a point now where I have to record content. It's not the coding that's holding us up. It's me spending time recording hundreds of hours of content. <laughs> and I haven't quite yet got to that, that point in time where I've had the F the energy and the time more than anything else to do that. And then I leased some course content, which is the first thing I did first time I've done it and it's it's worked out fairly well and I'm I'm do going to be releasing some other uh content for some platforms and leasing that and making a few extra bucks and that's been nice because I've been building a nice business relationship so those are what I consider I got two dogs also that's pretty exciting <laughs> um I've been wanting dogs for a while and uh April has as well and 
Um, that's been really helpful uh, for like uh, anxiety and just enjoying life a little bit. I, I, I love those damn dogs. If anything were to happen to my poor babies, I'd be devastated. <laughs> uh, as well as my cats. But um, it's just I, I didn't realize how much I was going to like having dogs till we got them again. Because as a, as a child, I, I had dogs, but I never really – I always liked the cats more than the dogs. But as a, as a, as a grown-ass man in his Pac-Man t-shirt right now, <laughs> um, I, I really, you know – I really um, have enjoyed having dogs. <laughs> so um, let's talk about 2020 goals, all right, before I just go on for 10 minutes about my dogs. Uh, Gator and Boise, love of my life. Uh, <laughs> love of my life. Um, 2020 goals. I want to launch the alpha video dev docs. I want to do this in Q1, maybe at the latest Q2. I want this out because this is one of those projects, much like the YouTube channel, hopefully much like the podcast, much like – uh, courses that is something that's part of my life now and I want to launch this and I want it to you know because there's a lot to do that couple hundred hours of content is just the beginning so a lot of stuff I want to do with that every year now I want to finish a course I want to launch at least one course a year Ta building a course takes a lot of time for me it takes you know if you're taking my algorithm course and you're take my uh, front end course you're talking about complete dedicated effort every single day, multiple hours a day for about two to four months, depending on the course. It's a lot of work. The algorithm of course was a time cause I had to go do a bunch of algorithms and the, the recording of course was like three months of work. It was, it's a lot of work, but it's something I want to do. It's, um, you know, one of my goals is always to build passive income streams and multiple income streams to, to live the life that I want to live and do the things I want to do. And, um, you know, I'm going to do one course. I'm not sure quite yet what that course is going to be, but I'm, I'm, you know, something I'm thinking about. I want to speak at more conferences. So I really enjoyed speaking at the conference and I've already sort of laid the seeds for some of that. So, uh, if you, uh, watched our conference episode, which I think is coming out the same day as this video, um, Eric <laughs> told me I should apply to NG Conf. So I, I, uh, talked with one of the organizers and, and speakers at it that I, I'm, have sort of a working relationship with asked for some advice and so i've submitted two of probably three potential um uh talks i'd like to give and i'm hoping that uh i'm hoping that i get accepted and that's a it's a very big step up in competition but much like anything else it's okay to get denied it's okay to uh to fail what's not okay is to k stop trying you know, and we'll see what happens. Um, but I'll apply to some other conferences as well. Season two of self taught or not is, uh, something I want to do in 2020. As I mentioned, that's on the list. <coughs> um, I always want to add one certification, uh, to my resume a year. That's sort of one of the goals. And so I'm, I'm think I'm not, I, it's probably going to be the agile certification. That's what I said last year, but uh, it's going to be one certification of some sort. And, um, Finally, I want to release the book. This is going to be one of the ones that is going to go to the front of the list. Like, there's sort of an order of these things, right? The book and the web app, the reason they were there last is they took the most effort, and I, I wanted to accomplish some other things that were going to be immediate financial gain for me in my career. And those were – they're good, but they, they're, they're, they're a little bit more risky, a lot more time-intensive. And oftentimes much more, um, um, it's just a harder task to accomplish. And so I want to accomplish something that's going to be the inverse this year. So starting in January, uh, because I, my next six weeks are crazy busy, uh, <laughs> with things, um, I'm going full steam back into writing, um, you know, um, going rogue, the self-taught developers, uh, playbook. So that's my, the book that I've been working on, and I have, I have numerous chapters written, but I have nowhere near completion. Um, and finally, number eight is a health goal, and I wasn't quite sure. You know, I, I told April that going in 2020, I was going to worry about my health more and um, do better diet, exercise more. And really what I'm trying to do is get rid of my gut. When I saw myself on the conference video, and, like, I've been sort of joking about it, and my weight has fluctuated quite for, I, I've never had my weight fluctuate so much as it did in this year with getting laid off and being miserable at previous employers that I, um, 
I went up to almost uh, 200 pounds, which is uh, right now to give you an idea without me watching my diet or anything about 185 right now. So, and that's, that's a little bit on the heavier side. I, I'm not necessarily worried about the number so much as being healthier and uh, doing it. But you know, as your weight increases and you don't, you're not exercising, that's not muscle you're putting on, you know? <laughs> so, um, um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to make a much more active effort to be healthier in 2019. Um, you know, I, I've done little things like in stand up desk and you can see, I have some weights behind behind there uh that i i lift on in between i take a lot more walks and working at home has really helped with that because i'm eating at home a little bit more a little bit healthier but uh it's going to be a very very much so more active um we're probably going to get a a full-on gym system again in the house or a gym membership or a yoga class that i'm going to two three times a week this is going to be something that's going to be very crucial um and something i I really want to accomplish so those are my goals those are the things that i did those are the things that i planned uh, to do in 2019 and what i accomplished in 2019 didn't exactly line up but there was definitely progress made and what i plan on doing 2020 and there's a lot of things on here that I was thinking, I was like, you know, I did a lot of stuff that wasn't necessarily on my, (laughs) on my list. And it'll be interesting to look back a year from now and see what it was I accomplished, what it was I didn't and, uh, see if we're okay with that. And I I would say by and large for, for the, (coughs) you know, being laid off for about between the move and everything for about two months, that was uh, a very stressful period of time. And, um, you know, owning your own house, first house and that happening. And then, uh, you know, getting some dogs and new family members and stuff like that. And still being able to hit some of those financial goals that we wanted to and being able to end up in a better situation, uh, than we were before. And, um, you know, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of planning. And it, it was, um, you know, if, if I didn't have those, that sort of bit bump in the road where essentially a quarter of my year was taken away, uh, I wonder what else we could have accomplished, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we did here. And in 2020, uh, I'm hoping I'm, I'm happy with what I did again. But uh, the goal here with making a video like this is hold myself accountable to get you guys to think about what it is that you're trying to accomplish and what your goals are. Because my major goals at the end of the day is to give myself an option of uh, being financially independent, of being able to progress my career, make sure that Every year, I'm moving closer to a better job, to a better position, to being promoted and make sure that I have the skills that organizations value and want to keep me around or want to steal me away. (laughs) So that's the sort of the higher level goal um, outside the health ones and whatnot. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys are planning your 2020 about what it is you're trying to accomplish, whether it's getting that first dev job or going from junior to senior, so on and so forth. But I appreciate you. If you're interested in any of my courses, there's links in the description below. They can get a huge discount. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check out our memberships. Get some emojis, all that cool stuff. See you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it. And if you're interested, I just released my latest course, the 100 Front End Technical Question Challenge, which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews. There's over 100 questions. You can get it for just $9.99. The link is in the description below or use coupon code CODINGGOD.